All right, are you ready to keep this thing going? We're, we're just going to keep them coming up here, keep you laughing. Give it up right now for Suzanne Jacob. I'm Suzanne, and I'm recently married to an Englishman. And when we first met, he was enchanting, and his accent charmed me. I felt like I was living a real-life version of Notting Hill, and I was that girl in front of that boy asking him to love me. And then we got married. <laughs> and every possible difference between a 14-year bachelor at English Leo and an independent Latin American uh, tourist began to surface. And did I mention he was raised Jewish? <laughs> I realized in a short period of time that I'd married Simon Cowell and Larry David. Every day of our married life has scenes right off the set of Curb Your Enthusiasm with interjected quips that could come from the set of American Idol. The other day, <clears throat> I was preparing breakfast and I asked him, babe, would you like a bagel? And he said, darling, what time is it? And I said, is there a specific time that you eat bagels? Is it 1017? Is it two minutes too late to eat bagels? I'm thinking, you know, I know they have tea and crumpets at high noon, so maybe there's a designated time for bagels. And he said, no, I was just asking you the time, darling. And I said, but I asked you if you wanted a bagel. And you asked me if, what the time was. And he just kind of looked at me. And I said, well, how about the next time you ask me what I want for dinner, I'll ask you what the temperature is outside. Yeah. And so this is how we converse. It's completely dysfunctional. It would drive anyone to drink heavily before communicating, and yet we have found a twisted way to make it work. So, now I've always known that the divine has a sense of humor, but I'm beginning to think that it might just be slightly twisted. You see, my oldest are twins in, uh, twins in college, they're freshmen this year, and my youngest graduates from high school in six weeks. And two weeks ago, we were, it was confirmed that I'm expecting. And so I feel like I've been thrown into this real life game of shoots and ladders. I thought I was almost done, and now I realize I'm back at the beginning. You know, but I've actually started to embrace this experience. Because I know and I realize that this pregnancy can finally complete the stretch mark masterpiece <laughs> that the first two pregnancies initiated. I figure when it's all over, this is going to resemble a world map. <laughs> and I can market my body as a GPS system. <laughs> Are you lost? Here, let me help you. So this has been a lot to process for my husband and I, and, and I'm really grateful that he didn't get up and run away. Well, he couldn't have gotten very far because I hid his passport. <laughs> but seeing as how he and I have never been through this pregnancy gig before, I figured I'd inform him of what to expect in the coming months. I said, dear, I'm about to morph into a Buddha. My body will be a temple, and you will need to worship me. Yeah! I might have some weird cravings at odd hours that are going to send you to the market with one eye open. And I might say some things that I don't really mean. And the lovely bride you claimed only months ago might seemingly disappear right before your eyes. But please don't forget this. When that day arrives and I say, it's time, please don't make a beeline for the bagels. Thank you.